In this video, I'll talk about BMW i level or integration level. I'll try to make you understand what that means and how you read it. I'm pretty sure if you have a BMW, you have already heard about i level up, i level down, and so on. If you are a professional on BMWs, I'm very confident that you know absolutely everything about i levels, but even so, you can watch this video and if I'll say something wrong, use the comment section now to correct me. The i level is used by BMW to keep track of the software version of a particular vehicle. iLevel was first implemented by BMW somewhere around 2004 or 2005. The iLevel is a string of numbers and a couple of letters and will look something like this. E89X161500. The E89X is the chassis for that string. The chassis and in this case, E89X, it's an umbrella because under this number, you'll have more chassis combined. On, under this umbrella, you'll find E87, E84, E82, E81, E90, E91, and so on. So all these chassis are under one umbrella. Next number, 16, is the year where this software version was released. In this case, it's 2016. After that, the next two numbers are the month. In this combination, 11, it's November of 2016. And the last one, 500, is the build number for that release, for that software. So everything is quite simple. For example, on F010, under the F010 umbrella, you will find F10, F11, F18, and the same F06. All these cars are under this umbrella. On S15A, we will find G11, G12 is the 7 series, G30 is the 5 series, and also Rolls Royce. All these chassis are under this umbrella. You can say, for example, um, on... Let's return to my first E89X is the classic one, it's easy for everyone, and I think a bunch of you have a 3 series E90. So under E89X, you'll have the same type of software that you can use, you can find on all these cars. And you can say, yeah, but uh, won't be a problem, for example, if I have a four-door saloon vehicle with four doors, four electric windows, I cannot have the same software on a two-door convertible. The four-door have four windows, have a frame on the window, the convertible have only two electric windows, and so on. Yeah, you are right, but also you are wrong. The software is the same everywhere, but the difference is in coding. You have exactly the same software version, but the coding will be different. The coding will say to the software what to operate, to or four windows, um, two or four central lockings, and so on. The eye level is changed only when you use original BMW equipment to do a software update. If you use an aftermarket uh, equipment to do a software update, I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% confident, but I'm pretty sure most of them won't change the eye level because they don't know how to. I never use those and I cannot say exactly if they are able to change the eye level or not. But the eye level is changed only when you do a software update with your original BMW equipment. The eye level is right inside the vehicle in the CIS and the light module or the BDC on the newer models uh, and it's stored there. Every single vehicle that is manufactured after 2004 will have a factory eye level. The eye level that that car received when was manufactured. And next, you will find the current eye level. The current eye level is the eye level where that car is today. So if I have a 2010 3 uh, Series, the eye level will be 2010 07, for example, or let's use my 2016 11. But if that car will have a software update made in 2021, the eye level will be changed to 2021 version. So that's why you always will see the factory and the actual eye levels. Always will have these two different. For example, if you have an older version of uh, ISTA and you want to make a software update on a vehicle 
and that vehicle will have a newer version of software updates. So your I level, it's your ISTA I level, it's capable to do 2021, but your car it's already updated to 2023. Your ISTA will give you an error because the level that ISTA will find it's unknown for that particular version. So that's why sometimes when you try to code with ISIS, you won't have the necessary information inside the ISIS to code a newer version of information that it's written on the car. ISTA will no longer let you to do individual modules programming. On the older version of ISTA P, you are able in the expert mode to manually select what module you want to do the software update and what module you don't want to do that. Today, and the latest version, especially ISTA plus ISTA D, won't let you to do that because always when they will release a new software version, even the hardware is the same, the software will be different. So you cannot have a newer software version in the DME, in the engine control unit, and an older version in the transmission. Sometimes the information that it's sent between these two modules, if there are two different versions of softwares, will be different and they will won't work. That's why ISTA now will program the entire vehicle uh, in one single session and won't let you to do that individually. You can do that not with ISTA, with other equipment, with ISIS or some aftermarket uh, uh, programming equipments. But when you do that, you need to think about this thing. You will make a software update on the DME without a transmission and the DSC. The software update will be implemented and the DME will have a new version of software. The transmission will have an older version of software and sometimes there will be a conflict of information. Maybe at the beginning your car will work fine, but sometimes when some conditions are met for, I don't know, some special uh, gear change in some torques, you pull something, it's something different, the information won't match and something will happen. You can destroy your transmission or you'll have an error. Will be nothing physical, will be only a software problem. Some control units have a limited numbers of writes. So you can write a software on a control unit for a limited times. After that, the control unit can probably can be programmed multiple times, then for example, four times. But the structure the internal structure of the processor where, or the memory where this information is written, it's compromised. So even if you are able to do the software update, you cannot be sure that the software is written correctly and all the information is there because the internal memory, the, the space inside of the processor of, or the memory have a limited number of writes. So you need to keep that in mind also. The software update hits, as I told you, is the software version. The coding is totally different. So the software is the uh, brain, the map, what this module need to do. The coding is the command for the module what to do. The coding is this software will work on a three series with four electric windows, without uh, window frame, with central locking, without or with alarm system. So the coding will tell the software what to do and the software will do what the coding is saying. When you try to program a vehicle, it's always it's riskier in programming when you write the software to destroy, to break that module, than when you try to code it. When you try to code a module and you messed up the coding, most of the cases, almost all the cases, you can restore the original coding of that module and the module will work. But if you try to do a software update on the module and the module will rise every, uh, all the information inside and will try to write something new and won't be able to write that, you can break that module and you cannot restore it. Every single module can be restored without any problem, but with specific equipment. You need a special programming equipment that will write back on the processor or on the memory that information with your equipment through the OBD cable, you won't be able to do that. So for example, when you try to do a software update on your vehicle, ISTA will send a command to the DME, will send a command to erase 
the partition erase all the information. The DME will erase everything. The DME will respond, yes, I will erase that in 3, 2, 1. The DME will erase everything. And at that moment, the DME won't respond anymore. But ISTA will keep that line open and will send the bootload software first to be righted in the memory. If the line is open and everything is okay, the bootload will be sent, will be righted, and in that second, the DME will wake up without memory like a newborn and will start to communicate with ISTA and will start to receive the packages with all the information. And when you do that and everything is okay, the software update will be done with success. If something will go bad here, I told you, depending on where you are remaining with the update, sometimes that module is bricked. But as I told you, everything can be repaired with specific equipment. Now I want to show you in ISTA the eye level, how to identify it. It's very easy. And I'll try to make you understand how easy it is to know how to find your vehicle in ISIS. Before I will show you that, I'll give you a short example. You have a BMW X5 F15 and you want to code something with ISIS. You will go to coding and you will try to connect with the car. Here, you will search for your F15, F025, and we don't have F15. Why? Because the F15 do not have its own umbrella, its own chassis. For that, you will go in BMW Vista first, you will scan the car. In my case, I'll go to operation, finished, I don't have a car here to scan, but I will reopen a closed session. And you can see here in vehicle detail page, you'll have the chassis number, miles, production date, engine type, and so on. You can see here, I-level factory, F025-1207-508. This car, it's an under the F025 umbrella, but it's an F25, an extreme, made in 2012 July and with the release software of 508. The eye level, the actual eye level, it's F025-21-11535. So that means this car have the software version level right inside of it from 2021. That doesn't mean necessarily that this car was updated in 2021. This car can be updated yesterday, for example, with a software version from 2021. You can see here, today we are in 2021. 24. So, before you'll code your car with ISIS, you will scan it with ISTA and you'll check which under which umbrella it's your vehicle. And the same you can see here on this list, we'll have under the S15A umbrella, you'll have the G1X, that is G11, G12, G3X, G30, G31, RR, 1X. This is the Rolls-Royce vehicle. F45, F46 under F057. Uh, 56, sorry. Uh, F15, F25, F26, F86. All of them are under the F025 umbrella and so on. Only the old 7 series E65, E66 will have its own umbrella here. E065. In rest, all of them, they will be a combined chassis under the same umbrella. You see, E70, E71, E72. This is E70. It's a X5, X6, and yeah, they are the same. E89, as I already told you, if 001 is the newer 7 series, but the newer 7 series will have the 5 series GT, and so on. And I think this is all for today's lesson. Of course, there is much more to talk about high levels, but for the moment we'll stay here, won't go down there, because it's a rabbit hole and it's quite deep. So if you learn something new, please show me by hitting the like button. If you are a professional on BMWs and I have said something wrong, or you want to add something to today's lesson, don't forget to use the comment section down below. I'm trying to give something back to every single one of you, because myself, at the beginning of my career, I also used information that was posted by some other awesome guys that have taken from 
their time to do these type of videos and post information online. Even today I'm using that. I'm not able to know absolutely everything about these cards and every single day there is something new to discover. With this, I want to thank you for watching these videos, for being with me, for supporting this channel. And as always, you know the drill. Stay awesome. Bye now. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching.